Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Investigator here, and you may have heard by now that if you set your iOS device to a date that is January 1st, 1970 or before, it will be bricked. Now this is occurring on any 64-bit device, so anything A7 or newer, that begins with the iPhone 5S. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually fix this from stopping your boot loop from occurring. So essentially, the device will not boot up, and it will just stay at the Apple logo. This is the only 100% reliable fix that I know has been confirmed to work every time and it will involve you needing to actually take apart your iPhone so I do want you guys to proceed at your own risk I am not responsible if anything does occur with your iPhone it may void your warranty so please just proceed at your own risk and you are going to need a suction cup as well as a P2 pentalope screwdriver bit so that you are able to take the bottom screws off the on the left and right side of your lightning port so you are going to have these little tiny screws they're five stars and this is like a torque screwdriver but it's called a p2 pentalope uh, bit that you're going to need so i went out and bought a smartphone repair kit this actually included the suction cup as well as the various bits and a magnifying glass and a few other little accessories but all you're going to need is the suction cup, that bit, as well as an X-Acto knife to pry. I also suggest putting this on a towel just to be safe and not scratch anything up. So essentially what you're going to want to do is, once those screws are removed, you're going to want to apply the suction cup to both sides of the device and then gradually pry up with your X-Acto knife. Just being careful to not put your blade too far in or anything like that. You don't want to damage any of the internals. But once you do get under it, it's very easy and it just simply lifts up right after that. The next thing that you are going to want to do is actually switch bits. So you're going to need a four-sided bit now instead of the five. So switch bits, um, just try out a couple different ones. And then you're going to want to remove this second from the bottom. There's a metal plate with a screw on the left and a screw on the right. It's very easy to take off and this will uncover the battery connector that attaches your battery to your device. So you're going to want to remove that metal plate. I prefer to use this little plastic tool that did come with my repair kit, but you could use anything just to pry that up. I wouldn't recommend doing it with your hands, but I would use something just to be able to get that out of there. And then you're going to want to actually pry up the battery connector thing that you can see that I just put down with my hand and then basically plop it back down so that it is applied. This disconnects the device from its battery power and then reconnects it. And then what I did was I actually plugged in my lightning cable um, before I actually reapplied any of that stuff, even the screen was still up. I plugged in my lightning cable and as you guys can see the Apple logo began to come up and I was just waiting to see if this would be an endless boot loop or if the device was actually going to boot up and to my surprise I was greeted by the actual device being able to boot up without any problems at all. So as soon as that battery has been removed you're going to be really set to go. So at this point, I knew that we were rolling, so I decided to put the uh, cover that was protecting that battery connector back on, reapply those screws real quick here. This is probably the hardest part um, where you actually had to take out the battery connector, but really it's not that big of a deal at all. And then you're just going to want to actually apply the uh, actual screen back onto your device and the only way to do this is to start at the top and then work your way down there's some clips that attach inside of the chassis and then it's simply reapplied and you're good to go and as soon as this is done everything is working order um, don't put your device back to that date ever again and then reapply the screws on the bottom of your device and you'll be set so basically this is the only way that I know is 100% reliable to fix your device. You can charge it back up now and you'll be set to go. Hope this helped you guys out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.